celebration of one of these love colors on Scrabble. A five-letter word. The clue is they always end up on the top. It's the crossword game you've played all your life, but never quite like this. And here's your host, Chuck Flory. Thank you, Charlie Tuna. Thanks, everybody, and welcome to Scrabble, the television version of everyone's favorite game. Home View Award was sent in by Heather Lampsman from uh, Kirtland, Ohio. And we have a T-shirt for you, Heather. In honor of uh, Valentine's Day, this week is uh, Love Connection Week here on Scrabble. All of our contestants are either newlyweds or engaged to be married. And in addition to their regular winnings, uh, they're going to be playing for a dream honeymoon on the big island of Hawaii. The winners uh, uh, of our Monday through Thursday shows are all going to come back on Friday. And Friday's champ's going to win a fabulous honeymoon. That ought to be nice. Charlie has her first two players. Here they are. He taught her everything she knows. They rang in the new year with a ring. Originally from Houston, Texas, Debbie and Dale Evans. And originally from New York City, Adam Wachowski and Michelle Lander. All right, nice to have you both here. How are you, Debbie? Hi, great. Good. Tell me about you and Dale. Well, he was my professor at University of Houston, and he needed a volunteer for the Heimlich Maneuver. I volunteered, and we fell in love. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of professor are you? Health science. Health science. Yes. Oh, I see. Well, congratulations. Now, okay. you just got married, right? About eight months ago. Well, congratulations. Thank nice you. Nice to have you on the show. It's nice to be here. Adam, tell me about you and your wife. Well, my fiance Michelle and oh, I. Oh, sorry, your uh, fiance. I had no idea. <laughs> we met in college, and Michelle moved out here a few months ago. And I called her up New Year's Eve. I said, "Let's get married." I came out here to bring her home. Well, nice. <laughs> That's great. So no Heimlich maneuver involved. No Heimlich in maneuver. <laughs> Who won the talk? I, I did. did. Oh, <laughs> you did. He did. I told you. Well, no. Well, everybody say goodbye. Let's get underway. Let's go to the board. We're going to play Scrabble until somebody gets three words right. That player goes on to our Scrabble friend. They have a chance to bonus friend worth uh, $5,000. Take a look at the board as we set up for the first game. We're building on the letter I. Seven letters in the word. And the clue is some guys hope the second one will be better than the first. Now, when you think you know it, hit your buzzer. Don't forget the pink and blue bonus squares. They're worth money, Adam. Oh, some guys okay. uh, hope the second one will be better than the first. Okay, I'll take the one and the five. And an S. I'll take um, the S. No, stopper may work for you. Let's see, Debbie. Okay, I don't know it yet, Chuck. So I'm going to try the nine. P, you're okay. Okay, let's try that P. Some guys hope the second one will be better than the first. I still don't know it, so I'll take the K. Stopper did work for you, Adam. Only one left now. Okay, we'll try the two and the eight. N and N. The N. And the other N. Some guys hope the second one will be better than the first. Yep. The three and the six. I and an A. The A. Stopper, do you know what it is, Debbie? I do know what it okay, is. Okay, tell me. Opinion. That's exactly right. It is opinion. <laughs> Okay, Adam, she got you on that one. Building on the letter I and opinion, seven letters in the word. The clue is, some of them have a checkered past. Some of them have a checkered past. The one and the four. C or a Y? The Y. Stop her again. Debbie. Okay, I don't know it, so I'll take the nine. C or a B? Let's try the B. Worth five hundred dollars. Some of them have a checkered past. No, I don't know it. So we'll just see. First position in the word. Cubic. No, I'm sorry. That's not a correct answer. Goes over to you, Adam. Some of them have a checkered past. Okay, I think I know it, but I'm going to try for the money. The two. Another B. And the three. Another B or an E. I'll take the E. And the B? Well, your odds are even right now with four tiles sitting there, two stoppers okay, out. Some of them have a checkered pass. Still go for it. The six and the seven. A and a P. The A. Some of them have a checkered pass. Cabby. That's right. Back to the board, Debbie. 
Building on the letter A in cabbies, there are nine letters in this word. The clue is sometimes you can spot them under a whirlpool. Okay, I don't know it. So the 11 and the 10. Two chances for $1,000 with an N or a P. Okay, let's try the P. It's worth $1,000. Sometimes no. you can spot them under a whirlpool. I don't know it. I'll take the N. You got them both. Sometimes you can spot them under a whirlpool for $1,000. I wish I knew it, but I don't. So I wish you did, too. Take the six and the five. I and an R. The R, please. First position in the word? No, the I. I them under a whirlpool. I still don't know it. The seven and the two. R and an I. The R, please. Repairman. That's right. <laughs> Never gave that one up, Adam. Okay, Adam, building on the letter R and repairman. Six letters in the word. The clue is he's young at heart. He's young at heart. Okay, I'll take the one and the four. R or a B? I'll take the R. $1,000, and it'll tie the game up. He's young Robert. Robert. Robert, exactly right. The rest of cash. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one thousand. It's all tied up. Anybody's game? Hands on your buzzers. Don't answer till I say go. We'll put the letters in place one at a time. Last letter's up to you. Building on the letter R in Robert, there are seven letters in this word, and the clue is people sometimes leave it behind in restaurants. Ready? Go. People sometimes leave it behind in restaurants. People sometimes leave it behind. Adam? Parsley. That's right. <laughs> Boy, it looks like you all were at it at exactly the same time that he just locked you out. Well, Debbie, we have some party to get for you, though. Thank you. And Charlie's got them right now. Charlie? Debbie, for you and Dale, sure grip. Chin on dust proof binoculars. Designed to be shock resistant, covered with a rubberized surface for a sure grip and a slick look. Sure grip binoculars, furnished by Chin on. California. Thank you. Thank you. It's been great. Really great to have you. Just stay right there. Okay. And Adam uh, has fifteen hundred dollars with his little extra there. Gonna play Scrabble Sprint, do that in just a minute. We'll be right back. Thank you. Thank you, Adam. Okay. $1,500 going to establish the time. Now the winner of the next crossword will come up here and try to beat that time. Remind you to hit your plunger. That's what stops the clock. There are no stoppers in any of these words. All the letters are good, Adam. Good luck. Okay, here we thank go. you. First word, six letters. A famous shoemaker. A famous shoemaker. Ready? Ready. Go. Go. L. W. A famous shoemaker. Really? That's right. <laughs> Let me say go, because they'll start on, on that word, okay. and you don't want to start before. Second word, seven letters. There's not one single woman in it. There's not one single woman, woman in it. Ready? Ready. Go. K. W. Not one single woman in it. Wedlock. Yes. Third word has eight letters. More than some some couples bargained for. More than some couples bargained for. Ready? Ready. Go. L. P. T. More than some couples bargained for. Triplets. Yes. Okay. Last word has nine letters. The bottom line. The bottom line. Ready? Ready. Go. S. N. Keep going. G. Signature. That's right. Eight, eight, great time. Great time. Right? Real good time. Be awfully hard to beat that time, I think. Well, you play this game unbelievably well. Yeah. Right? Yes, great. 18.2 is going to be tough to beat. We'll be back to see if it can be done. Here we go. I'm a television call. I watch every day. Our dream honeymoon 
start to the first class airfare for two uh, to the big island of Hawaii, followed by eight nights of uh, the fabulous resort village uh, right on the Kona coast. Uh, meals are included, $1,000, big deal. And we have two new players. Charlie? Their jackpot is on her finger. They've had some success playing games. From Los Alamitos, California, Debbie and Mike Neary. And from Los Angeles, George and Susan Parker. All right, nice to see you all. I'm just going to guess here. I, I honestly do not know this. Did you win the lottery, Debbie? No. Oh, I thought maybe you did. No. So you we, your jackpot. I didn't know. No. No, we went to Las Vegas about a year ago, uh -huh. and we picked 10 out of 10 football teams, and on a $10 bet, and we won $10,000. Oh, my gosh. That's great. Yeah. Oh, and then we went and bought my engagement ring. <laughs> yeah, very nice. Nice to have you here. Oh. Good luck to you. George, how are you? Well, Chuck, we're the ones that hit the lottery. <laughs> we hit you the, did? Well, we hit five out of six numbers. We won about $4,000, and then we rushed right out and picked up her engagement ring. Oh, that's very funny. <laughs> that's nice to have you. Who won the toss? I did. All right. Uh, everybody say goodbye. We'll go to the board. The building on the letter O, eight letters in the word. Now, the clue is some women have fake ones. Some women have fake ones. Yes, they do. Okay. <laughs> I'll take the 10 and the 5. A and an N. Um, place the M, please. And the A? Some women have fake ones. Okay, I'll take two more tiles, the nine and six. Pardon me, miss, are those fake or what? <laughs> S or an N? Uh, please the S, please. And the N? They don't look fake. Some women have fake ones. I'll take two more tiles, the, oops, the eight and the one. D or a D? The D, please. $500. Some women have fake ones. It's diamonds. That's right. That's what it is. <laughs> Never gave it up, George. Yeah. <laughs> Building on the letter M in diamonds, George. Got seven letters. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> You guys get all over me like a cheap suit, I'm telling you. <laughs> all right, I'm going to give you some money. Okay. One. One. Two. Hang on, just a second. Wait just a moment. Hold on just a second. I want to see the diamonds. Oh. They're not fake. <laughs> like no, that's good to know. These are pretty impressive. Can you see these? Have to hold up this camera. Nice. Ooh. It's where a weekend in Las Vegas will get you. Where was I? Two. Three. Yeah. There we go. Four. Five hundred. There you go. Sorry, I didn't make a bean to break your rhythm and timing. Next word, nine letters. The clue is Jesse Jackson has been known to speak out on it. I don't know it, Chuck. I'm going to have to take a couple tiles. I'll take the six and the nine. G and a W. Give me that W, Chuck. Stop her. <laughs> Debbie. Okay, I'll take tile five. G and an N. Um, place the N, please. And the D. Jesse Jackson has been known to speak out on it. I'll take two more tiles, the seven and the one. P or an A? Ah, uh, the P, please. And the A? Thousand dollars. Jesse Jackson has been known to speak out on it. Megaphone? That's exactly Ooh. right. Yeah. <laughs> Look, all the money. Lots of money. One, two, three. George, this may be sliding by. Time to get back into it. Building on the letter E in megaphone, George. Six letters in the word, and the clue is... He's a heavy breather. He's a heavy breather. I'm going to have to go to the tiles here, Chuck. Number three and number eight. R or an F? I'll place that R, please, Chuck. For $500, George. Put you in the game. He's a heavy breather. Boy, I could sure use it, but I'm going to have to take that F. Over to Debbie. Okay, I'll take tile seven and the two. O and a W. The W, please. That's the George. Ooh, Ooh, I got, got a, a chance, chance now. now, Jack. Lucky number four. O and a T. I'll take the T, please. You just have no luck today, George. You're going to have to earn it now because it's Here all go. even. Going to play speed word. Hands on your buzzers. Don't answer the lie. Say go. 
put the letters in place one at a time, can't give you the last letter. Debbie's going for the game. George is just trying to get back into it. <laughs> He's a heavy breather. Ready? Go. He's a heavy breather. George. Jogger. Jogger is exactly right. Woo. There we go. Let's stay with you, George. That's one. Building on the letter O in Jogger, there are eight letters in this word. The clue is a popular rocker. A popular, a popular rocker. Popular rocker. Have to take a couple tiles. Lucky number three and number ten. W and an O. Place that W for me, check. And the O, please. A popular rocker. Uh, take a couple more tiles. Number one and number nine. A and a B. Place that B, please. A popular rocker. Ooh, I wish. A, please, Chuck. Stop it. Mm. Debbie. Okay, I don't know it. I'll take tile eight and the two. K and an O. I'll take the K. Stop it. George. Don't see it. I'll have to fill my plate here, <laughs> wow. Chuck. Number five, please. D and an O. The D, please. A popular rocker. Ooh, I don't see it. The O, Chuck. That's it. All three of them. You know what it is, Debbie? Now, if, hang on just a minute. Let me give you your options. If you get it wrong, you're out of speed word. You don't get to play. Uh, do you want to play speed word? Okay, I'll take play a speed word. It's up to you. I'll play speed word. Okay. Hands on your buzzers. I've already given you all the information. George trying to tie it up. Debbie's going for the game. A popular rocker. Ready? Go. A popular rocker. Nobody knows this one. George? Bentwood. That's exactly right. <laughs> Bentwood. Right on the buzzer. Better give it to you. Boy, that's exactly what it is. Isn't that what President uh, Kennedy used to rock in? Was an old Bentwood rocker with a round kind of scroll rocker? No. no? <laughs> well, okay, it wasn't. Anybody's game. Here we go. Still in speed word. Building on the letter T. Eight letters in the word. The clue is... He was an old cop. Ready? Ready. Go. He was an old cop. He was an old cop. George. Keystone. Keystone cop. That's exactly right. He just came from behind and took it away from you, Deb. But I'm telling you, $1,500 is going to be very nicely done. George only got $500. You got a chance to win another $1,000. See if he can do that. Thanks. We'll be back to watch right after this. I still didn't know what it was. Okay, Adam Wojcicki. Wojcicki has uh, 18.2 seconds, 1,500. George uh, Parker has $500. He's going to try for 1,000 now, see if he can beat Adam's time. If the time to beat 18.2 for Wood. I got him, though. Well, I good luck it. to you. Remind you to hit your plunger. That's what stops the clock. And no stoppers in any of these words. All the letters are good. Yeah. First word, six letters. A famous shoemaker. A famous shoemaker. Ready? Ready. Go. Al. Willie. That's it. Yeah. Second word, seven letters. There's not one single woman in it. There's not one single woman in it. Ready? Ready. Go. K. W. D. There's not one single woman in it. Wedlock. Yep. <laughs> Third word, eight letters. More than some couples bargain for. More than some couples bargain for. Ready? I hope so. <laughs> Ready. Go. L. R. I. More than some couples bargain for. T. Triplet. Yes. 4.9 seconds. <laughs> 4.9 seconds for this last word. Give him my best, Jack. Nine letters. Nine letters. The bottom line. The bottom line. Ready? Ready. Go. N. G. T. The bottom line. Ignition. After you put the S up, you'd have had it. Six Ignition. letters. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> you got $500, though, George. Susan? 
Brown and Michelle are going to come back and try for that five grand right after this. We'll be back. I thought he had it. I thought he had it. If he can pick that in. Seconds for 5,000 shouldn't be any problem. Adam just did 4 under 20 seconds, so <laughs> okay. good luck to you. Here we go. You want to step Maybe. back just a little bit there, uh, Michelle, and see if you can make some more money for you guys. First word, six letters. I get good specs on, okay. First word has six letters. They're heavenly. They're heavenly. Ready? Ready. Go. G. N. They're heavenly. L. Angel. Yeah, I was hoping to pick that A. 4.8 seconds. Seven letters. It's a party. It's a party. Ready? Ready. Go. F. H. It's a party. N. Skin digging. It was tough. That was tough. Angels was so easy, though. If you just picked that A, you'd have had it. Well, it's all right. Going to come back tomorrow. Uh, Adam still has 2,500. We'll check on him then. See you. Come on down. Due to a production problem, the crossword was replaced. Scramble, starring Chuck Woolery, is produced in association with Exposure Unlimited. This program is based on the Scramble brand crossword game. This is Charlie Kuna speaking. Scramble is a red, threatening production.